Well, hey, what's up, everybody? This is the professor. Uh, I'm Tish. That is, that is Tish, the warrior right. queen. And uh, we're going to be talking about Mother India. Yes, we are. A little different feel from some of the videos we were doing. Um, this film is, uh, Nargis is in it, Sunil Dutt, uh, Kumar, um, old film. 19, what, 56, 57? Yeah, something like that. Very um, old. In the classic 100, in the, in the top Bollywood 100 films, mm -hmm. uh, as, as I read comments when we were doing, um, trailer reactions and movie scenes, people have said it's maybe the best or let me I shouldn't say the best the most important film mm, of okay. India um and um boy oh boy did it live up I think I mean people were like please don't judge it because of the the um the production quality it was old but but you made a great point I'll make Which, you make your point okay don't do that please um <sighs> you, I was just trying to get your attention no but but that that doesn't okay. just get my attention. Okay. You Sorry. have to stop that. Um, so the production quality of this film was really no different than any American film of the same era. I agree. The production quality was very similar. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't I don't think that that is a concern whatsoever. When when you're watching an old film, it doesn't matter what country it's from. You have to understand it's going to look like it's from 1957. And yes. so what you're watching the film for is the story. Um, one of the things that struck out at me was, um, and again, and we've been talking about this with older films, they don't look that dated. Like when you watch, you know, you, when you watch how, how folks are dressed, uh, especially with traditional wear, it, it didn't look out of place. It, I mean, we're so used to even seeing it in the modern movies. You mean as far as the type of um, outfits they yes. wore? The mm -hmm. the yeah, I mean their apparel looked pretty similar. So because there are still a lot of people in India, as far as women are concerned, that dress traditionally. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that mm -hmm. didn't look didn't look out of place at all. And one of the things that is happening, I think, to me as I watch all these films, especially when you start getting into the older stuff, you start seeing like, uh, for instance, uh, Rocky Handsome. There's a scene where John Abraham gets hit uh, with a pallet, I think, or something. It's a complete ripoff of Sholay when Big B gets hit with the chair. He mm -hmm. just doesn't move. How this movie started made me think of Dewar. Like, uh, did do you, because w the movie starts in mm -hmm. present day, right? Uh, with uh, with um, Nargis. With Nargis um, being asked by the town to kind of come and dedicate the water canal, right? And she doesn't want to. She's very, she's very mild. She's very elderly. They they portray her elderly. She's humble. Very humble. Yeah. What did I say? Mild. Yeah, she's very humble, very meek, mm -hmm. and um, and as she's kind of reluctantly doing it, the movie is her flash. She's thinking back because there's a right. comment made that says you're the mother of this of our village. Like, right, and she's mother. pretty much been a fixture in that village for decades. Mm -hmm. And so then the film, just like Dewar, the 1975 version, is basically um, her looking back. And and certainly there were some similarities because just like in Dewar, there's a mom mm -hmm. with two sons. Mm -hmm. One good, um, one bad. And the father um, just kind of up and leaves the family. Um, because of circumstances in life that uh, he feels he can't I don't get control or feels like uh, life is over and so I'm just going to abandon my family. Um, so just like in Dewar, the dad left. Yes, and I don't get it. I don't get that. Now, she had four kids yes. in this film, but yes. two of them died. Mm. So she's left with two sons. One is an upstanding young man and the other is a hooligan. Um, just like in Dewar, um, except in Dewar, one is actually a cop and one is, you know, a, a mobster, basically. So that wasn't the case here because this is more village life. Um, but one cares about the ethics and uh, kind of the mores of the village. 
and the other doesn't mm. because he's so fed up with the fact that this money changer has been getting away with things for years and he's right about that he's it's understandable that he's upset about that beer jew the son um it's uh, understandable that he's upset and he cares about how this has affected his mom and because but, so many of them in the village are illiterate the money changer is able to get away with this people don't realize what it is that he's doing to them, um, and he's he's playing on their um, their, their lack of education. Yes. Yeah. Um, Biju, uh, even when he's little, you're gonna he has. Oh problems. my goodness! Uh, that kid the needed kid, a spanking. I don't like. Oh my like, gosh! Yeah, he needed to be spanked a lot. Yes, he needed to be spanked. Yeah, he needed. A, but was mom a strong was always load. catering yes, to him, yes. and I mean, there's one point where grandma ties him up. Yes, and then mom, mom goes and, and just basically, yep. yes, right. yeah, I mean, it was so bad. So yeah, um, it's, it's kind of mom's fault that he grows up that way because if she had used a uh, stiff hand in disciplining mm -hmm. him early on, maybe he wouldn't so, have been such a cad. So this movie starts with her getting married to right. this guy, yes. and, and it's an arranged marriage. And, so she's brought into this village. And she's brought into this village, and there's a lesson for us here. Uh, the mother-in-law can't afford the dowry right so she takes she, it out on credit with the she money goes lender. to the money changer the money yes, lender for and 500 rupees, 500 rupees what, that never American, get paid right back now. it never gets paid back and so but and then she also the mother-in-law lies to the whole village and says yes. oh no i didn't do that i had the money for this and i've got this beautiful daughter-in-law and she does love her daughter-in-law yes. that's nice yes. it's nice to see that you know she's welcomed into the family and everybody loves her that wouldn't be my family um no that is true my family um, is pretty messy uh yeah so in any case so she, less, um, lesson number one is don't go to the don't go to don't go to the money changer don't yes, um if don't you're go going to take out a loan don't take out a credit card. make sure you understand all of mm. the terms because they never were able to pay back yes. the principal yes. they were always just paying interest for decades and decades and decades so um the the whole film is basically the the life struggle of uh, Nargis, of her character. And, and I think that this really kind of speaks to colonialism. I think this really kind of is a, a metaphor for what, what like, British rule did to India of, of, of taking her resources, breaking down her um, So the money, pride. the money lender is... Is a type, I think. Great is a Britain type. Yeah, in is this a type. case. Where it comes in, we're going to... We have our, our ways and customs are different. Um, you don't understand the rules. We're not going to tell you the whole rules, but here we go. And they, you know, they even kind of got the courts involved where, where they went to the town elders and he's like, this is, you know, this, this is, is her thumbprint. And, and so she law. agreed to this. Yes. And so this yes. is the law. So, um, you know, Nargis basically tells her husband, hey, why don't we farm some more of our land then? Mm -hmm. And then he doesn't get to keep, you know, basically three quarters of our crops. Um, and he's like, but the ground is so stony. Yes, and... they, have, they, have, they have five acres that this guy has nothing to do with. Right. Because they mortgaged out 20 of their 25 acres. And so, um, so her and her husband are trying to basically, you know, till the land. Yes, and this is kind of where we get this epic cover here. A great shot of her, uh, you know, pulling the plow by herself because you see they lose everything in it. And, yeah. and their only hope of survival is... Can we turn the stony ground of five acres into something to feed our family? And so basically then the film is her losing everything, losing mm. the husband, losing mm. the kids. The mother-in-law dies. Mm. Um, she loses two of the kids, I should say. There's a huge flood that comes through and mm. decimates the village. Mm -hmm. And everybody's going to leave and she convinces them to stay because mm -hmm. she's not going anywhere. Her mm -hmm. and her two remaining kids, they're going to stay and make their life there. And so um, in the end... Um, the money lender is kind of like trying to make amends, trying to... But he wants to sleep with her. But he always wants to sleep with her. He's mm -hmm. so creepy. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that epic scene where she goes to his home and, and she's just filled with mud and mm -hmm. she's almost lost everything. And, and he almost convinces her to just become his wife. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, no, I'm, my husband's going to come back. Her husband never does come back. Um, 
and so she basically tears off the gold and um, tries beats to destroy, him. Just tries just to destroy beats him. I mean, that was hilarious idol. when she's beating Jesus. him. Um, so yeah, she basically then becomes the mother of the village, and she mm-hmm. cares about uh, the honor of the young women there. Mm-hmm. And uh, Birju, her her one son, is just a total. He's a loser. He doesn't want to work. He doesn't want to do anything. He wants to gamble and drink, and he wants to harass all the women. Um, he slaps his sister-in-law, and his brother doesn't even do anything about it. I was like, okay, I'm sorry, but that there's no way I would stand for that. Um, yeah, and I was surprised the sister-in-law didn't slap him back because I would have been like, oh, it's on, buddy. Let's go. So, um, um, so anyhow, the film basically then just follows that story, and um, at one point, the town is getting ready to put out Birju, and she convinces them, no, let him stay, let him stay. If he messes up again, I will kill him. She doesn't think she's going to have to, but she does. Yeah, and that was that was the uh, the second scene I reacted to that I just was like, I just shot some dude. Somebody said in the comments that was her son. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. like what's going on in this movie? And her real life husband played the good son. Um, really? Yeah. He was a good son. Okay, he was I a knew. Good son. Okay. Um, huh. I I think Biju like he would be a great T-shirt. Don't be a Biju. Oh like, my goodness. Like you know with his little face there. Yeah. That dude. I like. I wanted I was to so slap angry. him. Yeah, I was so As a angry. kid, like, I wanted harassing to beat women. his what are you butt. Doing, dude? Yeah. What are you doing right. harassing them, breaking their water pots? Yeah, like, right. Like, someone needs to break his head. Dude. It was almost, it was like his attitude was, we've suffered, so I'm going to make everybody else yeah, suffer. Yeah, and I'm sure that's what it is. Yeah. And, and And I think what you have, if you go to a, a typology, is two responses to the British rule. You have Bijou and you have the good son. Are you going to succumb to the pressure and become a savage right uh, and and kind of fulfill the racist stereotypes that the british have about you or are you going to circumvent it and rise above it and i think you see you see the two paths kind of kind of going one up one down and how do you how do you respond to uh to the stimulus how do you respond to right. uh, adversity how do you respond to when things go horribly wrong you know, um, and, and I think there's also another lesson in there for us is is to not be a bijou. Don't be bijou. Yeah. Um, we can add that to don't be a Mr. George from Airlift. George. Yeah, awesome. so we can add that to. I, I, I want to hang out with Mr. George. So, um, final grade? <laughs> final grade, dude. What are you talking Final grade? We give this is an epic, dude. Grade. This is like... This is epic, dude. This is... You're missing the point. The greatest Indian film of all You're time. You're missing the point. While this could all be true, we still have a to plus. actually say what our grade is. Not only is this an A+, plus, but this is a weighted grade. This is A+, plus in engineering. Mm-hmm. This is A+, plus in brain surgery. Like, like um, this is... Uh, uh, Sumya can loud... What is it? Uh, help me out. Summa cum laude. Yes, thank you. That's what it is, right there. This is the honor society. This well, is this is an epic in which all other epics will be measured against. I'm going to give it magna cum laude, which would be A as opposed to A plus. Um, outstanding film. And I and I I've seen um, I've seen Nargis and other things. I have not, but um, I understand that she is um, a legend, and she died very young. I, That's I was so shocked sad. that she. That very she died. sad. Yep. Very, very sad. She, she had pancreatic was, was cancer. She was the same age as uh, uh, as um, um, who just died. Shri Devi. Uh, thank you, Shri Devi. Same age. I fifty two. Were they both fifty two? Um, it was fifty two, fifty six, somewhere around there. They were what both a... very young, but this was not an accident like uh, Shri Devi. This was uh, pancreatic cancer. Mm. So very sad. Well, just Either a, way, just a great sad. movie. In in. And I know it. I know it's not. Uh, it's it's not going to be a fun movie. There's, That's off camera. Although, got to bring it. What there I will say go. about this too, and we talked about this during the film, is there were a lot of funny scenes in this. Like oh like, yeah, I mean there like were certain... they took levity and they wove in levity yes. to, between the heartbreaks. Sure, and there right. And it was up down up down. Oh, there were yeah. plenty of times that we were just laughing. Oh certainly. 
because it, it was funny. But yeah, and and so, but just like just like real life, no matter how difficult your life is, you're always going to have moments where there is some humor. And so, yeah, there were some things in the film that were funny, um, but also just what a tale of of sadness and hardship. Mm. So, so very good. I would give it an A. Yeah, this is a great film. And and I would say, just in closing, go go see the film. If you haven't seen the film, you can go to our website, darkskyradio.com, and click on the MCC tab. It's right there. You can watch it on the nice. website. And um, I think this is an important film. I think if you're going to really kind of say, uh, you're going to react and respond and do movie reviews, especially of India, um, you know, it's easy to do the Michael Bay style films where it's explosions right. and entertainment and pacing. <clears throat> um, but I think this is important. This is this is a film that I think is the bedrock of a lot of Indian cinema. And to get a really better idea of or deeper understanding into some of the things that we enjoy, Dwar, Big B. Mm -hmm. Big B is building on something. He just didn't walk oh, out sure. and invent right. this. Right. And this is this is maybe the cornerstone of 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 their entire uh you know movie empire and it's and it's it's worth a watch it, Absolutely. i think i think if you, it it demands respect if you're a reactor if you are a reactor you must see this film you, you have to this isn't an option this is this is um you know uh our indian audience deserves us to watch their classics not just the trailers right yeah. We we need we need to be be better informed so we can be servants to them and share our opinion and give better insight. It makes everything better for everyone. I think personally. Well, thank you for sharing that. Uh, that's what I do. Yeah. Okay. Final words is that or is that it? Peace. Okay. Bye, India.